you do not have an arbor press readily available, we offer this tool, which can be used on any bench with most ATV uh, secondaries that we offer. Part number for this part is 297-22. What you do is you take your secondary, make sure you have something that's the same height or taller than the bottom of the sheath, and you roll a tape, slide your secondary on. And take your plastic ring and help protect the cover. Slide this down. Washer. And then the nut. Make sure that's decently snug, doesn't have to be overly tight. Then take out your cover screws. Okay. When you do that, all the pressure is going to be left on this nut, so you're going to have to have a wrench to back the nut off slowly. That takes your cover off. You can also change and remove your spring. There you go. Now to reinstall, use the stop underneath. So it'll hold the, the sheave up where it needs to be, hold the helix where it needs to be. Slide the clutch on. Put all your spacers, your spring, cover spacers, whatever's applicable with your clutch. Slide your cover on. At this point, get it roughly, you know, lined up the best you can. Slide your protective shim on there. Bracket, washer, and then you're not. Make sure when you do this, you line it up so that you can get to all the, the holes around the top of the cover. And make sure it's lined up. Before I get too much tension on it, and you're gonna tighten it up. As you're going, you might need to adjust it a little bit, get the bushing lined up just right. Before you get it all the way tight, go ahead and line your holes up with the helix. Oh wait, remember blue Loctite? Get 
few screws snug up on it and then get this out of the way. There you go. Put the rest of your screws in. It's good to go. A decently compact, easy way to be able to change springs, change belt deflection, and anything without having an arbor press.